So I just came back from my 20 year high school reunion and it was quite an event. I didn't know what to expect. I was very nervous going in because I haven't seen these people in over, over 10 years. And, you know, walking in, it was uh, very clear to see who was changed in the 20 years time, both mentally, uh, obviously physically is one thing as well. That's, that's a part of it too. But you can also see kind of who's been investing, not only financially, but within themselves. That's probably the biggest thing you can do. So if you're able to just put in a little bit of work on yourself, on your career, on your schooling, on whatever it is you're trying to improve on, every little bit counts because really in 20 years, that's what, 7,000, 7,000 days? So 7,000 days have gone by since I left high school. And since that time, I spent about six years getting my bachelor's and my master's. I spent about five more years working in my career as a young engineer. Then I spent about five years working on startups and traveling the world. And now the, the last phase has been getting married, having children with my wife and everything too. So a lot has happened to me, but each time I've tried to improve and be a little bit better than I was before. And really, I encourage everybody to go to their reunions because then you'll not only catch up with classmates, and I did have some really great conversations who which could lead to uh, amazing things down the line uh, new friendships and things of that nature because people do change and obviously the people that go to the reunions it's probably most people that are quite comfortable and confident with where they are in life if you if you choose not to go well that's one thing if you can't make it because of obligations and all that but some people might just be insecure and they just don't want to go they don't want to see uh, their friends and maybe they're ashamed of it so you don't ever want to be at that point in life to where you're kind of uh, embarrassed and ashamed of what you've become that's that's really sad that's obviously looking at it at a micro level but that one saying right improve one percent every single day okay well i did the math so if you did that for 7,300 days which is about 20 years you would be 2.22.2 uh, nano trillion times better which is i think uh, 2.2 times 10 to the 31st power, which is obviously absurd. Nobody improves like that. Uh, at that point, you'd be much greater than even Elon Musk and anybody else that you uh, <laughs> that you aspire to become. So obviously nobody does that. But even if the point there is just that little bit of of improvement, you know, taking everything seriously, right? Treating your life uh, like a professional, you know? So your life, your career, uh, whatever uh, you're choosing to do treat that seriously and then you'll see where you end up in that period of time it was really shocking to me to see how some people have changed uh, many of them uh, turned out a lot uh, probably different than I thought they would be and was quite surprising but some people also you can just kind of tell the mentalities had not really changed and although Everyone kind of figures it out, which was really nice to see, you know, everyone, most people there had families, life kind of happens. It was cool to see how people change and grew up. And I, I myself was very different in high school. I was a little shy, was very, very short and all that. I was quiet, but I, I you know, I, I put my head down. I kept to the books and, and studied. So I had a fantastic experience yesterday. The people made it so, as well as I realize now the path that I had taken and kind of what I had done and what I had become. And the the past 20 years made me really happy to be there and quite uh, proud to be there honestly and I'm just recording this the next day after just had brunch with my family and I'm walking around in beautiful uh, St. Petersburg Florida in summary if you work on yourself in 10, 10 or 20 years you will walk into a room and be proud of what you've become and remember life doesn't really reward speed it's all about consistency and compounding and building these habits that you need so think about this now wherever you are in life whether that's in high school college in your career whether you're married or not it doesn't matter just think about where you are in life and what you you can do to take it to the next level so keep working on yourself hope this helps you out